Dear friends, welcome back to Curious Vet. I am Dr. Mosina. So today we will discuss an important disease, but it is a short topic, and this disease is very important as far as race horses, especially thoroughbred horses, are uh, having this uh, more incidence of this condition. So let's begin today's topic: exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage in horses. So EIPH epistaxis or bleeder is seen in most race horses and in many other horses used in equine sports like polo or barrel racing etc that requires strenuous exercise for short periods of time Epistaxis is seen only in a small proportion of horses with EIPH approximately 5% and approximately 45 to 75 percentage of race horses with this condition have blood in the tracheobronchial tree and identified by endoscopic examination and hemorrhage is detected by cytologic evaluation of bronchoalveolar lavage in more than 90 percentage of race horses coming to the etiology the proposed pathophysiologic mechanism for pulmonary hemorrhage includes high pulmonary vascular pressures during maximal exercise with resultant thickening of pulmonary vein walls and decreased luminal diameter and increased intravascular pressure at the level of pulmonary capillaries so this is the proposed pathogenesis of eiph other uh, during high intensity exercise there will be high pulmonary venous pressures leading to pulmonary vein wall modeling and venous occlusion which in turn increase in uh, increases the pulmonary capillary pressure causing capillary rupture bleeding leading to eiph and lung fibrosis coming to the diagnosis endoscopic observation of blood in the airways 30 to 90 minutes after exercise provides definitive evidence of EIPH. Other sources of hemorrhage in the upper airway, particularly guttural pouch, pouch mycosis and ethmoid hematoma, must be excluded during the endoscopic examination. The most common way to assess EIPH is by endoscopy, as we mentioned before. This is usually done around 30 to 40 minutes after exercise as it takes uh, this long for blood to move from the periphery to the periphery of the lung into the trachea the amount of blood visible is most commonly scored on a four point scale that zero means no visible blood to three means more than half of the trachea is filled with blood so these are the different grades of eiph by endoscopy in grade 0 there is no blood and in grade 1 little blood and see in grade 3 almost more than half of trachea is filled with blood. If EIPH is suspected and the host cannot be examined after exercise, a cytologic examination of bronchoalveolar lavage for semi-quantitative assessment of hemosiderophages is diagnostic and this hemosiderophages uh, stain, uh, stains that highlight uh, the iron containing pigments like Prussian blue facilitate recognition of these cells. This is a pictomicrograph of bronchoalveolar lavage sample obtained from a host with EIPH and hemosiderin is identified within many of the alveolar macrophages. Thoracic radiography demonstrates alveolar or mixed alveolar interstitial opacities in the cododosal lung fields. Radiographic examination of thorax has little impact on diagnosis or management of EIPH. So endoscopy and bronchoalveolar lavage examination is the mostly used diagnostic techniques. Each incidence of EIPH contributes to scar tissue formation within the lungs and potentially future bleeding of episodes. The lung damage from repeated episodes of EIPH can shorten a horse's competitive career.
repeated bouts of eiph leads to scarring of lung and the deposition of iron deposits known as hemosiderin which have a gray blue appearance as shown in this picture the damaged lung tissue does not have a normal function as it is stiffer than healthy lung and does not allow efficient gas exchange also the damage is irreversible so here you can see the difference between a healthy lung and lung damage by ehph eiph in horses you can see the grayish discoloration of lung due to the deposition of hemosiderin pigments and uh, this change to the liver is irreversible and it will reduce the lung capacity coming to the treatment and control furosemide reduces the incidence and severity of eiph in thoroughbred race horses horses with and without eiph demonstrate equal improvements in race performance after administration of furosemide indicating that the drug may enhance performance via mechanisms unrelated to eiph then application of nasal dilator bands as shown in these pictures reduces rb rbc counts in bronco alveolar fluid from affected horses running on a treadmill by 33 percentage alternative treatments including procoagulant agents anti hypertensive drugs rheologic agents bronchodilators prolonged rest dietary supplements and anti inflammatory drugs have not demonstrated any therapeutic benefits so only furosemide is found to be helpful to reduce the incidence and severity of the disease so that's all about eiph exercise induced pulmonary hemorrhage in horses so if the video is informative please like it and share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video and please comment your suggestions also see you soon with another video thank you